Hello and welcome back to the third video on TreeView widgets. I'm going to show you in this video how you can um, take a user's input from a TreeView uh, wid widget and then uh, use that data in a function. Now before um, I begin I must draw attention to the fact that I neglected to put this uh, update statement at the uh, end of the um, uh, file so I will be updating that um, but hopefully you could have um, guessed that you needed to update the tree view um, initially in order to get values for it from the table um, but anyway um, so go up to your um, definition of your employee uh, view or your tree view widget and we're going to do only type one simple line we're going to do employee view dot bind and now we're going to pass in um, a key press or button action for for me I'm going to use the return key or you may call it the enter key um, as my um, uh, key and then we're going to uh, press comma and then we're going to define a lambda or well, well not define but uh, create a lambda function with no variables being passed into it and we're going to call it fire employee okay and we're going to put brackets there okay so we're going to need to define this um, fire employee uh, function and if you if you haven't guessed already, this function will take the selected employee slash employees and delete them from the database, I mean table. Um, so anyway, we're going to define um, employee, fire, define fire employee. Um, doesn't take any arguments. So in order to get the, uh, the users uh, selected, um, rec records. The first thing we're going to have to do is um, define. Um, we're going to have to uh, get their selection. So I'm going to set the data, the data variable items, to employee view dot selection. So that will be your not capital lowercase selection. So that's going to take the data items that the user has selected and I'm going to print um, the items in order to show you that the items in, in the selection aren't actually the items the user can see that they've selected. It's actually the IDs of the which were, are used internally by the TreeView widget in order to reference the um, in order to reference the uh, the actual data values, I know that's very complicated, but um, with the print statement, it'll it'll show you. So, employee, and we're going to have to define a list called employee data, which is going to store our actual values. Um, okay, so for i in items, so you can say for id in items, um, employee. Data dot append. So we're going to append the actual data values to this um, uh, list, and we're going to pass in this uh, statement, which is going to get the actual um, data values. So employee view. So whatever tree view name uh, dot items. In fact, no, just dot item, and then open brackets and pass in the ID. Um, and then after that you're going to have to put square brackets and then uh, values so that means that we're referencing the uh, values in the record there um, so I'm going to put in another print statement here um, to show you that we've got the data from the tree view widget and now we're going to do the actual function um, so for employee, for employee in 
employee data because remember you, we can we're going to make this function um, you can you can select multiple data uh, records with this function so we're going to iterate through our data here and um, we're going to do we're going to define fire uh, employee uh, SQL um, that's very easy SQL right it's just delete from uh, employee where um, where first name equals percent s and second name equals percent s and we're just going to do my cursor dot execute excite no execute please um, now uh, we're just going to pass in that um, fire employee SQL and now we're going to pass in the um, first two data items which is going to be employee square bracket zero um, and then uh, employee square bracket one you may be wondering why is it not uh, one and two because on the uh, in the uh, in the table itself, um, if we run this. Hold on, run. In the in the table itself, uh, in the table itself, uh, the ID is the uh, first column. So would it not make sense to do zero, one, two? So employee one and two. Well, that's because the. Uh, we're actually taking the data from the tree view widget itself. So remember, we're not referencing the employee ID there. Um, anyway, so that's that's that. So that SQL executes, and we're just going to make a confirmation. Um, bit of uh, print statement. So deleted, um, and then we're going to say employee employee square bracket zero. And employee square bracket one. Okay. The final thing we obviously have to do is mydb.commit because we're making a change to the database. I mean to the table. Um, okay. So let's run this now. So I have uh, already inputted um, some data into the into the uh, tree view. So. We're going to select our um, item from our tree view. So say the user selects Gary Worgen, um, we're going to fire him. So we're going to press, we're going to click on the uh, tree view and then that highlights the name. So it's been selected and we're going to press enter. And as you can see, um, the first, I, the first um, print statement here has produced I001, so that's the ID used in the tree view widget to um, uh, provide to um, to reference the the record, and then using that ID, we've got the values, which is employee data, and now we were able to iterate through that and delete Gary Worgen. Now I didn't put an update statement, so if we uh, go back, uh, you can see that. Uh, uh, Gary Worgen has been deleted, and if we run this script again, Gary Worgen has been removed. Um, okay, so we've done that. So um, the last thing that we need to do, um, now I need to show you, is that you can select multiple people with this. So. The trick is to get to select multiple um, uh, records in a tree view widget. You hold Control and you and you individually click on the um, different uh, records there. So now we've got four um, employees selected, and we're going to fire them all with a press of a button. We're going to press Enter, and as you can see, we've had we produce four. IDs here and we get their data and then we delete them from the database so the first four people will be deleted so I think we're going to be left with Janet and Amy so we're going to run this again 
And as you can see, we only have uh, Janet and Amy in the employee um, in the in the employee table. Um, again, sorry, I forgot to put the um, update statement there. So if we go back, the back button has an update statement. So we're just going to update the tree view. And as you can see, there is uh, no more. There's the the employees have been deleted. So that is how you. Um, uh, carry out, uh, take data from a tree view widget and then carry out a function using it. Thank you for watching.